Today I found monarch eggs and what I do when I find the eggs is I pick the entire leaf and I bring the entire leaf in. Last year I tried to just cut the section of the leaf that had the egg on it but what I found happened was that that part of the leaf would dry out before the egg would hatch and sometimes I would have eggs not hatch because of that. So what I've learned is to just pick the entire leaf and bring it inside. When you bring it inside, what you'll want to do is put it inside of a Tupperware container. I use a little Tupperware container like this, and then I put a paper towel at the bottom of the container, and then I spray the paper towel with water, and I just dampen the paper towel. And then I set the leaves on top of that damp paper towel, and I take a Tupperware lid that I've poked holes in, and you don't necessarily have to poke holes in it, um, I've read that you can put, um, you can just put the lid on and that that's enough oxygen for 24 hours for the, uh, for the eggs. I feel better poking holes in the lid. Everyone's a little bit different. So I'll check on these eggs every day to make sure that the paper towel is still damp. If it's not damp, then I'll spritz it with water to dampen it back up again. Um, about every other day, I'll actually change the paper towel out because I don't want any mold or mildew in with the eggs. I don't want the leaves to mold and mildew. And then I'll spritz the leaves down with a little bit of water, but just making sure that I don't get a bead of water on top of the egg because I don't want the egg to suffocate. These eggs look like they, had, they were laid uh, just within the last uh, 24 hours, maybe even sooner. They're still white. Over the next couple of days, they'll turn yellow, and then they'll develop a black head at the top of them. And when they get that black head, the little caterpillar will emerge within 24 hours, a lot of times much, much sooner than that. So that's today's update on eggs and what to do when you find eggs. Once they hatch, I will do another video on when they hatch and what to do and what next steps to take for that. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.